ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, the PGL Arlington Major Group Stage Action. Evil Geniuses taking on Team Spirit. Into the bear over here. That'll be the case. Or, did they kill the bear? Yeah, they're going to kill the bear, aren't they? Bear, survive! Getting a vision right here with the courier. So that's going to be a dead bear. And really, that 300 gold bounty you just gave to the mid hero. That ain't ideal. That's going to be a very fast bottom now. In fact, they might get a kill. Abed. Let's hear your orb. You got stunned! Oh no, Maposh got credit for the kill, but they'll take it anyway. Bottom lane, it's been a good damage to Arbaker. It's actually canceled before the final hit. Collapse, he's being body blocked though. Well played by Flat right here. The bear eventually killed off by Collapse. That's plus 300, but he will lose his life in the process. This is the middle lane. May look to make a play here. Yep, Drinkwell, it's ready. It's going to be used. Toronto. Off of the resident pulse, trying to stay alive. Starbreaker in. Heals on up with the very far as Dissimilate. He goes right on top. He gets away with the Astral Step. The Ice Shards are in, but no one to chase him down. Tusk ends up falling. Now Maposhka in trouble. Going to just kill the double damage rune in this way of pursuit of getting away. Shallow Grave TP. Is this actually going to work? Oh, <laughs> he gets stunned. Just enough mana right there for Dawnbreaker. He finds a Lone Druid. That could be big. They're going to collapse on Lone Druid. Arteezy in trouble. Goes in. Astral steps back and forth. Dissimilate. Not even needed. Zeus goes down in response, but... Hey, they got the kill. Doom credit for it. Top lane, meanwhile, shards are up. You have Monkey King putting out the Boundless Strike and needs another auto attack. Another one? Yes, he gets it off. Gets the kill on Nightfall. And Crit can only do so much damage. God, this dude is farming, though, by the way. Is that a Solar Guardian? It is. Solar Guardian bottom lane. They're going to the Monkey King. Abed already using the Drink Coil. And Monkey King can be somewhat elusive, but there's no chance for him to get away from this. Managed to catch Monkey King by himself. Mid push, though, happening from Team Spirit. Meanwhile, Toronto cuts off Fly. Who is coming over to check things out? Mira assisting with his nukes and Void Spirit will take credit for the kill. EG, a little too disciplined there. Set the head back towards the middle lane because you got a snowball roll in as well as the ice shards. Mira though, it'll heavily jump over the ice shards. Ace Druin picked up by Toronto nearby. Continues to run, collapse. Is it gonna doom? Nope, not yet. Abed able to face it before the black hole locked out of the doom. And Doom likely dead here. Big kill for Evil Geniuses. They're going to go for more. Puck continuing to chase. Mirrors in trouble. Wukong's command, though, going to be placed down. And now Evil Geniuses has to respect this. Abed cannot in time. He falls. Zeus manages to get away. Fly. Celestial Hammer forward. Going to help save his teammate in Enigma. But now Void Spirit starting to body block him. You got Monkey King. Thinking about continuing to chase. Turning into a tree in the back lines. Going to jump up as Toronto... Stays alive, great job with the Shallow Grave, keep it alive for the time being. The heal's coming out from Tazzle, and not only will he survive, but it gets the turn kill to simulate away, but Monkey King went too ballsy there, apparently. This is going to be a free Roshan kill for Evil Geniuses. And that's going to be a free Aegis for Lone Druid now. So Desolator finish on the barrier, you have your Lone Druid with an Aegis. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Player Smoke, Spirit, moving up. You know Crit's over here, they're gonna catch him before... Uh, okay, yes, they do catch Crit. So close to one another, but they don't realize it, it feels like. Here we go, Dream Cool Initiation, Boy Spirit gonna be pushed back as well. The Shallow Grave at the last second, Dark Grave coming in with the Solar Guardian, but the Dissimilate backwards, the heals. Boy Spirit's still somehow alive, Yule's gonna keep him up. Can he actually stay alive after? No, finally, the damage is enough. And he goes down. Monkey King's still not here for Team Spirit, he is making his way over. Doom finally gets a Doom off onto the puck. However, the solo black hole once again is going to kill Doom, it looks like. Maposhka, Shallow Grave was still on cooldown for another couple seconds. No buyback for the Doom. Void Spirit does have one. Puck is still low. Monkey King wants to finish him off. Instead, going to be blocked by the Tusk. Picked up in the air, but now Crit is going to feel the pain. And he'll take the sacrifice for his teammates. The stun to finish off Fly. And prevent him from TPing out. So finally, Monkey King got there. Zeus is building Yules. Um, he's thinking about it, yeah. Monkey King going in. Catches the Enigma a little further away than he wanted, but he still gets it. Meanwhile, Starbreaker from the Dawnbreaker. It connects, and Mr. Inquil is going to keep 
Monkey King in place. He'll pop the Wukong's command. He's gonna try to walk it with it, but it gets rooted by the Baron. Now he has to fight. Trying to escape with all the illusions up. Not gonna happen. Down goes Monkey King. If he can jump, get the Doom off, then they'll feel comfortable as far as going. Let's see how this Toronto's gonna try to name, but now he's gonna be jumped. Tusk goes in, but got pulled in immediately by the Remedy. Got hit by a Wukong's command plays out as well. Little throws up, but it doesn't matter. The Thunder God's Wrath comes down from the skies and does the damage it needs to. But the Black Hole from Enigma, and it's doomed up. It's stopped immediately. BKP ain't helping you there, buddy. And Monkey King's able to stand his ground. Big fight for Team Spirit. Despite the buybacks, it's going the way of Spirit, and they want more. Abed, Yule's on up, pulled back in. Down he goes again. Thought the Black Hole was going to be big, but Doom was able to sit on his ultimate the whole time. In fact, they find the Lone Druid now. Nice knock up, uh, getting low as Monkey King, but the Shallow Grave keeping him alive just enough. Fly, Lotus Orb able to escape, and the bear manning up manages to kill Monkey King. So Arteezy still got to respect this bear's damage. Doom also falls, Arteezy getting low, but no, the heal up to triple kill for Arteezy. Maposhka's even going in, trying to kill the bear. Finally they do, and down goes the raid boss. That's Arteezy, but at what cost now for Maposhka? He's getting low, he's going to fall. And Mira, suddenly the last one standing on the side of Team Spirit. Crit wants to change that. Crit actually may tie himself. He's going to do exactly that, but you know what? He's going to set up the final kill. And there's the cleanup favoring Evil Geniuses. What just happened in this fight? Oh, fuck. Awkward spot. Oh, they're going. Void Spirit. Green Quill will take the stun. In the back line, Lone Druid running in. Shallow Grave, he leaps out. That's Void Spirit. Wukong's man put down. And Arteezy's in a bad spot. Arteezy, he is tanky as hell, but is he tanky enough? In comes Tom Breaker. The Black Hole on Doom. They say, Doom this bitch. Oh, but now the Shallow Grave, so it's going to save Doom for the time being. Zeus is the only one dead currently. Doom is going to be the second. He buys back immediately. Crit is still alive over here. Lotus Orb is up. Only going to reflect so much, though. He falls. Buyback on the Zeus as well. Now they find Tom Breaker, does Team Spirit. They get both the supports on the other side. Oh, they're not fully committing to it, they're not sure, but yeah, EG is definitely giving this up. King Wukong, they want this kill on Abed, they just might get it. Lincoln's a Lotus, it's not gonna matter, he does not have a buyback. 85 seconds, he's out for. Monkey King, unable to go for more. Maybe, as I say that, they catch Dawnbreaker. Yul's on up. Assimilate on top. Pulls him in. Double kill. For Yotaro. Bear is also manning up here. Doom on Lone Druid. Break is applied. It, and that's the counter black hole, though. Doom kind of walks into it. However, the Shallow Grave, BKP. They kill the Lone Druid. He's dead. No buyback. And three players dead with no buyback. Team Spirit needs to capitalize with this now. What do they do? Not easy to kill, but there we go. Refresher Shard now picked up. Doom's going to be the one to do so. That is a massive item for him. He also gets the cheese. Engagement. Do they go on this Monkey King? Crit. He's thinking about it. He leaps away, though. Now Doom goes in. Puts a stomp out of the black hole. It does catch Doom, but the Wukong's placed in the midst of it. Doom, he's still alive. He's trying to just stay alive. No, he goes down. He has a buyback, though. Using it immediately. The Wukong's again still doing plenty of work. Toronto fighting in it. Lone Druid, he is doomed up. One Murado attack will do him, and once again, Arteezy's out for another 100 seconds. They also kill the Tom Breaker, and now a finishing push is looming. 25 Doom, by the way, as well. Damage they catch here. That's going to be the Tusk. 20 more seconds for Arteezy <laughs> before he's up. Refresher on Enigma, so they do have a black hole. And the, I don't know if he's showing the refresher either. That could be big. Catch him off guard, but look at Doom. He's just hiding off to the side. He has his own refresher for another Doom. So they'll easily take out the melee racks. No fight put up. Five more seconds for Arteezy. Abed's oh, caught, though. Oh, no. This is big. Abed, oh, he is going to barely survive. Face shift, and he gets out. Oh, ho, ho. Coming up over here. Oh, the jump. Oh, man. They're all jumped in the midst. The black hole from Nightfall. It is going to catch Void Spirit in a full duration here. Doom gets there pretty late. Void Spirit's dead. 100 seconds. Let's have a buyback. The Shallow Grave saving Monkey King for the time being. He has a Wukong, though. So, but he's got an Aegis, so he's going to come right back up. Can they support this Monkey King? Is it going to be now another black hole? The double black hole and the dead 
Monkey King! Oh, the Shallow Grave actually saves him! The BKP! The fight back! Dazzle went dead, but so does Monkey King! Are you kidding me? Evil geniuses some way, somehow! Four are dead on Team Spirit side, and now you push if you're EG! Enigma with the clutch. EG. Are they really doing it here? I mean, is that just it? I mean, that's it. That's GG. Actual GG. Evil Geniuses will take game one against Team Spirit. That's got to feel good. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Their first victory of the major. Team Spirit versus Evil Geniuses. Game number two here for the PGL Arlington Major. Early on, smoke from Spirit. They infest the dire jungle. Mira gets on top of Fly. Let the battery assault begin. Gonna try to block him as well. That should be a kill. No matter if he gets the last hit, and Mira will take credit for it. So, pretty cosmetic, and gonna use that to go in on the Viper. Sniper puts the shrapnel down. Snapfire will cook you away. But Poshka's gonna take a shotgun to the face. Scatter blast takes out the bird. Drop no put down. Somebody's gonna die here. Who's it gonna be? Feels like a snapfire cookie in. Manages to land and again a scatter blast to the face. This time the sniper gets the kill. Nightfall trying to kill Maposhka. Does the wave as well. The taunt kill. Double kill for crit. And now Snapfire is gonna run in and go to make a play. Three orb. Out of range. Never mind. They go in. Takes the snap. Snapfire himself jumps in the scatter blast to the face. It's not enough damage initially though. Mira. Blocking off Puck, the Illusory over four, another couple of auto attacks, and down falls Sniper. But now Chris, he's in a bad spot, although he has Nightfall to back him up. And Mira cannot get away in time either, so Evil Genius is really turning up the temperature. Dyer's top tower is under the Bat Rider is going right for the Seder. <laughs> he doesn't even care about the Spectre. He knows he needs to kill the Seder if he wants a chance to deal with Spectre. I mean, Collapse literally just committed suicide to kill the Seder. That tells you. Wait, back to this Viper again. He's got power treads. Uh, even if he has raindrop on him, and we're gonna see that come into play right here. Tanking up against the clockwork. Gonna be an easy kill with another toxic put down in the cogs. Now they're going for Boy Spirit once again. Takes the break from the Dream Claw. Beautiful Centaur stun to follow it up. No chance for Boy Spirit to escape. I didn't catch if it just whiffed or if he just took the snap early. Meanwhile, middle lane. Nightfall blocked him by the cogs. There are TPs coming in, trying to support. Nightfall though dropping. Supernova used in his face and with Sniper beating him down gets the kill, but that's the Supernova disappearing. Oh, Collapse going in, popping the drums for this as well. TP support. No, nothing's coming in yet. I guess there is one. But there's a lot of support on the other side. Meanwhile, Haunt activated. And Collapse now. He has to worry about staying alive himself. Spectre Dogger used on him from afar. Mira. Dog trap. Snapfire will jump in out with some cookies. Poison attacks helping to tick down Clockwork. As Spectre, they go back in on a Collapse, and Collapse will end up falling, and that's a tower kill for Evil Geniuses. That could not have gone any better, it feels like. Phoenix flying through. Gets pulled back in, though. And now he's going to have to pop the Supernova. Protection coming out from Clockwork. Hook shots in. Chen, push back. Thanks to the Bat Rider, and gets taken out. Mortimer's Kiss helps to take out Clockwork, though. Dissimulate away. From Toronto, Abed chasing further, but again, no Dream Coil. We saw that used earlier. On cooldown for another 35 seconds. EG wants to commit to the tower kill. Looks like they're going to be getting it, but at what cost now? Pull in onto the Staff Fire. Utara's here as well, and Sniper. Staff Fire jumps in, says, I'm taking you with me, bird. It's not happening. Maposhka survives. We'll see. Back right here. Void Spirit jumping in, going for the quick pick on a gem, but no, the mech and the hand I got coming out. He's going to be fine for now. The Sunray will finish him off when it's all said and done. You see Toronto trying to get out, silenced up. Mortimer's Kiss helping to finish him down. No one for one so far. Bat Rider, Lasso in the back lines. Catch a Spectre, pulls him in. Is that going to be for the benefit, though? It absolutely is, but Sniper now gone on once again. The Lucifer over through. The auto attacks from Viper from afar. Poison ticks him down. People are so low in life across the board, and they want more. Collapse. EG goes in, gets Pat Rider. Suddenly, it's just clockwork. The Cogs. Abed has to get out. Not worth the chase, but Evil Geniuses, even despite losing the Spectre, 
They definitely win the big team fight. Abed's going for another dream call. This one catches Sniper. Big target, Cookie. The stun will not connect, but Sniper, no chance to get away at that point. And I'm pretty sure this is going to be a free tower kill. Ports are coming in from Team Spirit, though. If EG was to keep going, maybe a fight would take place, but EG is going to be disciplined. At least for now. Well, they were falling back as I say this. Never mind. Engagement happened. Lasso on a Viper. They're trying to burn him down. He is tanky, but not tanky enough. So they get the big kill on a Viper to start things off. Crit. Cookies away out of the cogs, but he is eventually going to be chased down as well. And now that's two dead. Aunt not ready for about another minute. Gonna catch Void Spirit initially with the drain coil. Pull in on a nightfall, and there's another pull in. This one with the lasso. Got the BKB off though, so being able to mitigate some good damage right here. Putting the Viper Sting out as well, Yotaro. BKB is going to be wearing off any second. He's trying to go for the TP play. That's it is going to be in time. Oh my god, I thought for sure he was dead. But he manages to get out. Batrider does end up falling though. And Evil Genius still has the last lap. The top Timing of the TP was perfect. And now it's a turn to respond. Dissimilate in. Snap fire, assassinates. Again, not enough to kill. They will take out Chen, however. Snapfire staying alive in the back lines. And a big fight coming up. Lasso on cooldown. Haunt and Batrider melts. No buyback for him. Didn't have a lasso anyways, but still. That's a decent hero to lose. Mortimer's kids from afar. Mira also goes down. Jump back in from Toronto. Going for the turn damage on the Spectre. And Spectre was not ready for that damage burst. So a two for one. Looking pretty good for Team Spirit. Actually, as I say that though, they go back in. Voice Spirit in the back lines. And EG wins that duel, but Snapfire comes at a cost of his life. The Assassinate also takes out Pfeiffer. And Yatora with the triple kill. So if it wasn't really sure before that, definitely a one fight for Team Spirit. The Rocket's coming in, it will scout it. So now both teams are very aware of what the other one's doing. Snapfire. Trying to really block the mop hook shot in. Here we go. Roshan's almost dead. Can he maybe steal it? Mira going for it. Mira type. Mira snatches the Aegis though. He picks it back up. He's going to come up, but I don't think he's living out of this one. Although with the four staff. Did he also get the shard? He also got the shard. Wow. Both the Aegis and the shard taken by Clockwork. What a snipe right there. That is huge. Void Spirit, meanwhile, jumping in. Going after Chen. Sunray. Chen healing up with the hand of cough. Voice Spirit getting very low after that. Yields is not going to save when it's all said and done. BKB on to Yutaro. But Spectre sitting on top fin. Nice job with the egg on the high ground, though. It does stun. However, Yutaro can only tank for so long. He's dead for 70 seconds. No buyback. Collapse. Burn, baby. Burn on top of everyone. Spectre falls. But Batrider will also die. Everyone's burning, but Crit managed to survive. Never mind. Mira stuns in for the kill. And now Fly having to deal with those clockwork. In his face, Abed, meanwhile, gets to kill him at Poshka elsewhere. Mira at least trying to kill Fly. Another auto attack? No, he's going to be blocked. And now Abed's like, I'm killing you. Rocket coming up. The jetpack from the shard. He's going in. He wants his kill, damn it. And he's not going to get it. Oh, that was beautiful. Also, tanking himself with the creeps. Top lane, Void Spirit. Is in trouble. He went in and got greedy for the kill of the creeps. Aeon Disc is going to be popped, and that is a dead Toronto. And it's going to be a minute for Voice Spirit's dead. Lasso on a Viper. That's canceled immediately. And a god comes out and collapses like crap. <laughs> this is not what I planned. BKB is not even going to save him. The Viper strikes on him. Down. He's ticking down, and down goes collapse. And now Clockwork is regretting his decision. The savior teammate syndrome is real. And Clockwork, okay, maybe he'll live at least. Barely he's going to survive. It looks like, never mind. He goes down to in the same thing with Sniper. He's just going to BKB TP in the face. No, it stopped. I don't know if that was him or not. But either way, Spectre's still on top of the egg, though. It explodes. It stuns Spectre. But Viper puts in the damage and finishes off the Sniper. Evil genius is. Phoenix gonna do his best to stall as much as he can, but actually that ends up getting him killed. With the Icarus dive, and so now that's gonna be the tier three tower. The racks will fall. So without sniper, you gotta bet EG is feeling very good about pushing here. They are not gonna get too greedy though. They'll back off from the racks. 
Jump, haunt. Oh no. Sniper's dead. Sniper is not getting away. 90 seconds, no buyback. Double damage, by the way, has spawned. Roshan's not up for another two minutes, so can't do that. But you're just gonna push. No point for a Roshan. They're gonna smoke up on the side of Team Spirit. Gotta try something here. Here we go. What's it gonna be? The Sun Ray. Spectre's getting low, actually. Pop the Manta style. He will be fine for the time being. Miro picked off in the midst of it. Buys back immediately. BKB from Snapfire to help himself get out. Double buyback as Phoenix also comes back into the game. But like I said, you gotta try something. Viper, he's gonna be jumped. Voice Spirit sheeped immediately. In the back line, Zabek goes in. Aeon just pot for Voice Spirit. Takes a stun, and that Dream Quill lock in Phoenix in place. Forced to fight the Mortimer's Kiss from afar. Takes out the Phoenix a second time. Down goes Batrider, and I think that's the end. Mega Creeps officially spawning. Evil geniuses on the verge of going 2 0 over Team Spirit in this series. It's cheesy, eat it. This is the stun in the background. Spectre going in. Phoenix already dead, Mortimer's Kiss zoning them out. Yutora is sitting in this fountain trying to do some good damage here, but as expected, it just doesn't feel like it's going to be enough. Sting on him as well. BKBs are being used, and Sniper Abed's in the fountain trying to finish off the Sniper. <laughs> Unable to do so, but they're just having fun at that point. It's a GG officially. Evil geniuses will take the series 2-0 over Team Spirit.